Hello, hello everyone. Naomi Finlay here, your rapid renovation expert. So let me ask you, why are you wanting to renovate? Beyond just improving or updating the property, what is it that you're really wanting to get out of it? Maybe you've seen a friend do it, or you've got a creative flair that needs to take its own path on a renovation journey with you. Whatever the reason, there's no right or wrong answer here. We all have our own different wants and our different needs, and no one has the key to a perfect reason for it. Each of us is innately motivated by a different thing in life, and it wouldn't be realistic to expect to follow one hard and fast rule of why we want to do things. My motivations may be completely different to yours, and that's totally okay. At the end of the day, it's all about what works for you. So if you're feeling undecided about what's driving you to renovate, don't freak out. In today's video, I'm gonna run through with you the top five reasons why people choose to renovate. And hopefully, after I'm done, it'll help you to decide on what's your main motivation. And then you can move forward with your renovation journey. Are you ready? Let's do it. The first one is renovating to increase equity. So the main reason that people do this first type of renovation for is to increase equity in the property that they already have. If you're looking at becoming a property investor or a property tycoon, you may need more property. And the way to get more property and in turn build your investment for portfolio is through equity. Now, unfortunately, equity doesn't grow on trees. The market is also generally a slower moving creature and takes some time to build equity, which requires a lot of time and sitting on the property. So if you need to grow your equity in another way, renovation is the perfect option for you. When you're renovating an existing property in your portfolio, you essentially give it the power to boost what it needs in value. So when you're increasing value in a property by renovating, you're actually growing your equity in that property. And this often allows you to then unlock this equity to purchase more. So the second reason is actually to renovate to increase rental yield. Okay, so I guess similar to the first one in the sense that you're doing things to improve the value of the property, but in this case, you're actually looking to improve the property to then generate a greater rental income, hence a greater rental yield, basically meaning you can charge people more for renting your property because you're giving them a better product. Now, these days, our amazing tenants around our country, they have expectations and they are willing to pay for a good property. And this is a great reason to renovate an existing rental property and give them that little bit of extra comfort which they will happily pay for, increasing your rental yield and your bottom line. Now the third reason, renovating to sell. You've heard of the popular buy low, sell high rule. It's all about buying something at or below market value, and then adding value to it, jamming value into that property through really good solid renovations and then selling them at a profit. And this is exactly what this strategy is all about. It's probably one of the most popular um, reasons that people renovate because a lot of wealth can be generated from house flipping or buying, renovating, and then selling. And one of the biggest, biggest benefits of this is you are generally speaking, you are buying and selling in the same market, which makes it the lowest risk, quickest way to make a decent profit in property in our country today. Now, renovation reason number four, and this is totally for personal enjoyment. Ah, oh, it's a great Australian dream, isn't it? Buy a house, settle in and enjoy it. How about you buy a house, you renovate it to suit your specific needs, your family needs, your lifestyle of the modern Australian dream. And so many Australians are doing this. They're buying a rickety old shack and they are making it their dream home. So this reason isn't about making money as such or equity as such 
or rental yield. And you know what? There may be the potential to sell the property down the track, but they're doing it purely for their own enjoyment with no immediate intention to sell following the renovations at all. So, you know, there may be an immediate increase in value, but that is not the intent of doing that renovation. It is all about lifestyle. It's all about fulfillment and it's all about enjoyment. Now, reason number five, renovating for capital growth. Hmm, we made it to the end. Number five, the final reason. This is really popular with a lot of property investors. So what can happen is often people buy property. They'll be sitting on that property and they'll be waiting for the market to rise. So this is called the buy and hold strategy. Some call it the buy, hold and wait. Others call it the buy, hold and hope. So in this sort of case, realistically, that increase in capital growth, depending on where you are around the country, it can kind of trickle in. It's not an immediate immediate boost. So one of the things that many people do is they supercharge their growth or their value in their property. So what they will do, it's a bit akin to reason number one, it's very similar. They will either buy, renovate, and then that will increase their value on top of which they'll drive their capital growth. Or in many cases, you'll find people buying, holding, getting capital growth. So we end up up here and then they super boost their capital growth with a renovation before they decide to sell. So as you can see, there are so many reasons why you might choose to renovate. This house flipping that's been made extraordinarily popular by mainstream TV, you know, it definitely doesn't work for everybody. However, it works for so many people for all of the reasons that I've mentioned above. And a lot of these reasons, realistically, they cross over and they overlap. So you might be looking to boost your equity and increase your rental yield. You might be looking to boost your equity and capitalize on some of your capital growth. But just remember that you don't have to follow in your neighbor's footsteps, nor do you have to stick to the same reasons. Your reasons change for your circumstances and that is totally fine. Remember, if you know what you're doing, if you have a formula and you follow it, you can create amazing wealth renovating property. Hey renovators, if you're ready to take the next step in your renovation journey, then come learn how to renovate with me in my online renovation masterclass. It's completely free for all of you listeners. So if you want to discover how to renovate properties for profit, head over to naomifindlay.com forward slash renovation masterclass, where I'll show you how the seven steps to my winning rapid renovation formula create a six figure income for me and many of my students. So save your spot today. Remember, it's naomifindlay.com forward slash renovation masterclass. See you soon.